Happy April Fools and welcome back to another exciting video where today we are going to dive headfirst into the Sandwich Iceberg. This is without a doubt the most time consuming Zero Omens prank I have worked on yet and I really hope that you guys enjoy this colossal pile of crap. Joining me on this brutal journey through Sandwich Land is my Icelandic brother Q, who will be narrating Layer 2, and one of my best friends, the other half of Water on Red, Sersha, who will be narrating Layer 3. The chart that we will be using today was not created by me for once, but by a person named Morgan, so thank you Morgan. I've had this chart sitting on my computer for over a year now because I knew that I wanted to release this joke of an iceberg for this year's April Fools. Disclaimer before we begin, a lot of these sandwiches have some pretty tricky pronunciations. And look, I'm a dumb stupid American, okay? I only know English. I took French for one year in high school before they completely eliminated the program. And I took a Russian class for a week a couple of years ago. So I'm going to try my best with pronouncing these sandwich names, but understand that I'm going to butcher a lot of them. In fact, I, I get pretty emotional during layer 6 with the pronunciations and just flat out quit, so look forward to me having a meltdown. With all that said, leave a like on the video, grab your condiments, comment below your favorite kind of sandwich, and let's just jump right into the madness. <laughs> The BLT. The classic BLT. If you're a fan of bacon, lettuce, tomato, squeezed between two tight pieces of bread and lubed up with some mayo, then the BLT is the sandwich for you. Some like them toasted, and others are pretty weird. Put it in your mouth and eat it. Bacon. This sandwich is pretty similar to the BLT, except there isn't any lettuce, tomato, or mayo. It's just literally bacon in between two pieces of bread. There's also a keto version of this sandwich as well. It's called bacon with no bread. Bologna. This sandwich is also pretty similar to the bacon and BLT sandwiches, except there is neither bacon, nor lettuce, tomato, or mayo. Instead, the bacon is substituted with bologna, which is pretty mediocre in comparison to bacon. I mean, if all you really have is bologna in your refrigerator, then you may as well just get inside your car, go to the store, pick up some bacon, come home, and make a bacon sandwich or a BLT if you're feeling extra. Cheese. The cheese sandwich is pretty similar to the BLT, except there isn't any bacon, lettuce, or tomato. Instead, there is cheese. The sandwich has been called the Sandbox of Sandwiches by the Romans. If you played video games like Gmod or Minecraft, then you should be pretty familiar with Sandbox games. Sandbox video games allow players to essentially do whatever they want, how they want. Same rules apply with the cheese sandwich. According to scientists, there are more than 1,800 types of cheeses around the world, giving any user or sandwich maker the freedom to put any of those 1,800 cheeses on their sandwich. What's crazier is that those people can then apply as many slices of cheese onto their sandwich. Like, imagine crafting a sandwich filled with cheddar, gouda, provolone, and brie. Imagine replacing the brie with mascarpone or removing the gouda. There are endless amounts of options to choose from when creating a cheese sandwich. So next time you're about to make a cheese sandwich, be sure to thank the Romans. Gah! Cheese and pickle. The cheese and pickle sandwich is pretty similar to the BLT sandwich, except there is no bacon, lettuce, or tomato. The sandwich, however, contains just cheese and a pickle. The cheese and pickle sandwich is pretty similar to the cheese sandwich, except there is a pickle placed in between the cheese and bread. Chicken. The chicken sandwich was created by a guy who woke up one day and asked himself, what would happen if he placed a chicken sandwich in between two pieces of bread? Club. Okay, so now we're getting into the really fancy sandwiches, so buckle up. The Club Sammy is a sandwich that likes to party, hence its name. Club. The sandwich consists of sliced cooked poultry, fried bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. The sandwich is then cut into either quarters or halves, depending on if you feel like taking small bites or fat ribs. Egg. Egg and bread. Egg salad. Egg salad and bread. Ham. The ham sandwich is like a BLT or bologna sandwich, except the sandwich doesn't contain any bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo, or bologna. Instead, the sandwich consists of ham. 
What is acceptable? Ham and cheese. All right, this is where we start getting into the fancy types of sandwiches, so buckle up. A ham and cheese sandwich is like biting into a very tasty sandwich. Ham and cheese is like if a cheese and ham sandwich had a baby, and that baby was a combination of their genetics, which is bread, cheese, and ham. Definitely give this Sammy a try next time you decide to hit up a grocery store. Hamburger. Whopper 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 Junior Double Triple Whopper Flame Grilled Taste with Perfect Toppers. I rule this day. Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup. It's okay if I don't want that. Impossible or bacon Whopper. Any Whopper on my way. You rule. Your season of the day. At BK. Have it your way. You rule. Hot Dog. Yeah, I don't think so. Italian. The Italian sandwich is pretty good. I had one the other day from this place that's pretty close by. It was pretty solid. Uh, oh wait, the Italian sub is a long boy consisting of tomato, lettuce, ham, salami, cheese, Italian dressing, or mayo. Uh, probably some chemicals as well. Jam. Get up and slam and welcome to the jam. The jam has been dubbed the party sandwich by the Byzantines. It's a sandwich that consists of jam. Marmalade. Mmm, look at that marmalade ooey gooey goodness. Oh lord have mercy. Melt. This one just says melt. I don't know if it's referring to tuna melts or just sandwiches that contain melted cheese. I mean, it's probably one of those two, and both of them are pretty self-explanatory. Panini. A panini, or a panino, is a sandwich made with Italian bread and is sometimes served warm after grilling or toasting. You can really just put whatever the hell you want on a panini. Just be sure to grill it before you eat it. Otherwise, your grandparents are going to rise from the ground and get you. Peanut butter and jelly. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich is a sammy that is 25% peanut butter, 25% jelly, and 50% bread. Huzzah! Roast beef. Roast beef sandwiches are pretty tasty when professional chefs at Arby's put them together. Otherwise, they taste like dog water and horse hoof. Yes, a singular horse hoof. Submarine. A submarine sandwich is called a submarine sandwich because it's pretty long, like a submarine. Like, they're really long. Like, really, really, really long. Like, I don't think you have the mental capacity to understand how truly long these sandwiches are. Tomato. A tomato sandwich is pretty similar to a BLT, except it doesn't contain any bacon, lettuce, or mayo. Instead, tomato slices fill the void between two slices of bread. Tuna. A tuna sandwich is a sandwich that's, uh, it's pretty gross. Don't eat it. Turkey. Turkey is f***ing disgusting. And that, my friends, was the first layer of the iceberg. Layer 2! Hey everyone, Zero Omens asked me to narrate the second layer of this gorgeous iceberg of his for you, and uh, I'm here to do just that. Yeah, by the way, disclaimer, I wrote this while I was sh face drunk, so I have no recollection of actually writing this. I literally went out drinking, woke up the next day to write this, and saw that it was already written. So you guys are just going to have to uh, experience this masterpiece along with me. So uh, the first one we got here is the uh, American Sub Sandwich, which is a sandwich so f***ing big that it makes makes you feel like you're the one about to be eaten. What? <laughs> It's packed with more meat than a butcher shop, and it's the perfect sandwich for those who want to chew their faces off through a meal. Here in Iceland, we call these things bautar, which means boats, not subs, but hey, my language isn't really meant for people who think logically. The chicken salad sandwich. The chicken salad sandwich is for when you want to eat something that's light, fresh, and full of flavor. It's it's probably safe to eat. Here in Iceland, we call it a kjuklinga salat samloka. I would love to see how Mr. Omens would spell that, so I dare you to f try it. The avocado sandwich. These are fucking disgusting, <laughs> and I hate them. I don't want to eat a sandwich that looks like it's full of the Hulk shit. And the worst part is that the Icelandic name isn't even funny. Who the fuck finds avocado some look of funny? Exactly. Not a dude. I don't know if I should be fucking reading this to you. The chip butty sandwich. Because sometimes you just want to clog your veins up. There's no official name for these, so I'll just give it one. Uh, Frönsku Kartablusamloka. Omens, if you can say Frönsku Kartablusamloka correctly once, I will eat an entire coffee maker. Frönsku Kartablusamloka! The fried chicken sandwich. 
The ultimate guilty pleasure. It's like a hug for your taste buds, except it also hugs your veins closed. Here we call this a dupe stick to kuklink or something like I think. I mean, I don't know, I just guessed, so take me at my fucking word. The ham and pickle sandwich. This is what happens when you think of the worst combination of ingredients to ever grace the planet and put the together. <laughs> Dude, the amount of spelling errors that I'm like trying to read through because of this. And put them together. I haven't tried this and I never will. F this thing and its name in Icelandic is probably something like skinku or surkurku samlog or something stupid like that. I was very passionate about this when I was drunk. <laughs> The Sloppy Joe Sandwich. If you want to eat a sandwich that's messy, eat this thing. We call them hlullar here, which to me just sounds like an alternate word for a huge male apparatus. But that's probably just me. The Toasty Sandwich. It's like a regular sandwich, but warmer and therefore better. <laughs> we call this Rista Breuth. It's f***ing lame. The barbecue sandwich, one of my personal favorites. It's when you want to taste the sweet smoky goodness of a barbecue without having to put on pants and go outside to the grill. You can probably guess what this one's called, so I won't say it. The chopped cheese sandwich, a New York classic that is equal parts delicious and questionable. It looks f <laughs> disgusting as well. Ripna Osta Samlogan is a disgusting out of 10. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The meatball sandwich. It's like spaghetti and meatballs, but without the spaghetti and with more bread. <laughs> it looks uglier. And its name is Kyotpol or Samloka, which makes me want to take a shower for some reason. Which I guess is pretty fitting. <laughs> the vegetable sandwich. For when you're just feeling healthy and want to eat something that won't make you feel like a slug. Just make sure to load it up with enough cheese and mayo to make it taste good. Could I admit this Samlokan sucks because of how much f water is in the sandwich itself like I don't like wet bread Damn. this sandwich this sandwich the breakfast sandwich the perfect way to start your day but only if it has bacon and nothing else Morkun Mat Samlogan will leave you happy and satisfied <laughs> I the breakfast roll sandwich. It's like a breakfast sandwich, but on a roll. Same basic principles, only good with bacon, and that's about it. Open face sandwich. People who eat these obsess over calories way too much and likely have some sort of eating disorder. Because you're literally skipping one piece of bread and acting like that makes any difference whatsoever. <laughs> The veggie burger sandwich. It's disgusting trash. I hate it. Burn it. Shove it down your garbage disposal. Grind me this hamburger and can leave this earth. <laughs> Dude, I'm really passionate about the f***ing vegetable ones. The pilgrim sandwich. A Thanksgiving classic. Too bad we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here, so I've never actually eaten this thing. I don't know the Icelandic word for pilgrim, but just find it and put some loka behind it and it should work. The cucumber sandwich, otherwise known as wet bread, is the most disgusting thing I've ever had to eat in my life. Gurku samlokan er hreint viðbjóður. The cheese steak sandwich, a Philly classic that's packed with enough meat and cheese to make your cardiologist cry their f***ing heart out. Its name in my language is f***ing disgusting, and it's ostakjötloka, which just sounds like something you'd find in a homeless person's den. So I have 4 out of 10, it f***ing sucks. The deli sandwich, a sandwich so versatile it can be whatever you want it to be. Just make sure to load it up with enough meat and cheese to make it worth your while. Very good. 15 out of 10. The sausage sandwich. Just just eat a hot dog, man. It's called a pulsu samloka as well, which just... Ugh. Anyways, Omens, thank you for having me on here. I hope you guys enjoyed my drunken rambles about sandwiches. And uh, yeah, feel free to look me up at CQH. Normally, I'm not drunk when I write my scripts, but uh, sometimes shit Dad. happens. Uh, enjoy the rest of the iceberg, everybody. I love you all. Go away. Lay out three. Bacon, egg, and cheese. A bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich is a breakfast sandwich popular in the United States and America. It is made with bacon, eggs, typically fried or scrambled, cheese and bread, which may be buttered and toasted. Many similar sandwiches exist, substituting alternate meat product for the bacon, or using different varieties of cheese or bread. Bacon Bean The bacon bean sandwich is a sandwich composed of bacon beans between two slices of bread, 
which may include garnishes such as lettuce and toppings such as mayonnaise or ketchup. Cheese Dream This sandwich looks disgusting. The Cheese Dream is an open-faced version of the American grilled cheese sandwich, made with bread and cheese. It is cooked with either oil, margarine, or butter. Other ingredients such as bacon, avocado, pineapple, eggs, or sliced tomato can optionally be added to the open-faced sandwich as well. It can be cooked in a pan or skillet on the stovetop, under a broiler, or using a pan in the oven. In its simplest form, it consists of a slice of bread topped with American cheese and broiled until the cheese puffs up and brown. That's really disgusting. Chicken schnitzel. This is a, some German sandwich that I couldn't find anything about for the most part. But it's just the chicken schnitzel, whatever the f that is, on like a roll with lettuce, mayonnaise, like mustard, I guess, whatever the German people like. It looks okay. I don't know what the f a chicken schnitzel is, but it looks like chicken and I think it's chicken. So that's pretty cool. Chili burger. A chili burger, also known as a chili size, or simply size, stemming from hamburger size, is a type of hamburger. It consists of a hamburger with a patty top of chili. It is often served open-faced, and sometimes the chili is served alongside the burger rather than on top. The chili may be served alone with cheese, onions, or occasionally tomatoes as garnish. It, it kind of just looks like, like a sloppy joe, but I guess it's more like a sloppy joe on top of a burger. But it's also chili. I think chili and sloppy joe is different. Chocolate. There are so many things I can think this could be that looking it up didn't yield any real results for anything specific. So it's probably just chocolate on bread. And I think that's probably it. The Croque Monsieur is a hot sandwich made with ham and cheese. But it's like, it's like French. It looks kind of cool. It looks like they put a little bit of cheese on top of the bread but not like the fucking other sandwich we had where they just had the cheese fucking burned on top it looks nice and it's french and i'm not gonna say the name of it ever dagwood this is like the cartoon sandwich you see in like every cartoon where it's like super gigantic and just has like everything on it anything you can possibly think of it just has as many meats and cheeses as you can fit on that thing. And it has a cute little, you know, you put the little cute little toothpick with an olive on top. It looks, it looks absurd. Donner Kebab. This one's pretty easy. It's just, apparently, spiced lamb. Well, I guess the other meat, I, what I've seen is just usually spiced lamb. And it's cooked like in rotisserie. And then it's just like stuffed into like what it looks like. Like flatbread, like beet bread. And that's it. It's easy. Fluffer nutter. This one's also easy. This is a classic to say the least. It's just bread, any bread from the, like the store, like Walmart, with marshmallow fluff and peanut butter. We've all had it. I know you have. Before we continue with these amazing sandwiches, I would like to take the time to shout out my friend Darcy. Because the day this video is uploaded, that will be her birthday. So I would like everyone in the comments to wish Darcy a happy birthday today. Thank you. Now moving on to our next sandwich. Fruit. This one is also fairly easy. This is a, also a classic uh, sandwich. You, it comes from you know, Japanese culture. And it's bread with whipped cream and some fruit in the middle. And it always looks nice. They always, it's always made very meticulously and it looks really, really cool. You know, I mean, I'm sure you could just shove fruit in there if you wanted to, but that that would ruin it. That would ruin the presentation that, you know, makes it what it is, basically. The Gatsby. This thing seems really cool. The Gatsby is a South African submarine sandwich consisting of a bread roll filled with chips or french fries if you're American and a choice of fillings and sauces. Apparently it originated in Cape Town and is popular throughout the Western Cape province. The sandwich is typically large and shared by several people. Horseshoe. This is another absurd one, to be fair. The horseshoe is an open-faced sandwich originating in Springfield, Illinois. It consists of a thick slice toasted bread, often Texas toast, a hamburger patty, or other choice of meat, french fries, and cheese sauce. Now, I won't lie and say that I wouldn't eat this because this thing, I would, I would devour this. 
I would absolutely go crazy on this thing. But it looks abhorrent. Italian beef. An Italian beef sandwich originating in Chicago is composed of thin slices of seasoned roast beef simmered and served with au on a long French roll. The sandwich's history dates back to at least the 1930s. The bread itself, at the diner's preference, often dipped or double dipped into the juice the meat is cooked in. And the sandwich is typically topped off with Chicago style giardinera, <laughs> called hot, or sauteed with green Italian sweet peppers, called sweet. Hiburrito. The hiburrito is a sandwich made with flattened fried green plantains instead of bread, aioli or garlic flavored mayonnaise, and a filling that typically includes meat, cheese, lettuce, and tomato. The original hiburrito had steak filling, and that remains the usual variety, but other ingredients such as chicken and pork are common. Marmite. I've seen a few ways marmite sandwiches are made, so I'll describe both of those ways. Uh, the first way I've usually seen them made is like just with butter and marmite on bread. Usually, I think it's toasted usually. And the other way is, is like the same thing, but you also put cheese on it. So it's like a grilled cheese with marmite and butter. And that's it. From what I know also with marmite is that it's not as bad as people think. And it's just because people usually eat it wrong. Usually like from a spoon because it's like a funny challenge. But it's wrong. And that's why it tastes bad to you. And yes, I'm talking to you. Monte Cristo. This is another cool looking sandwich. It's, it's just a, basically like a ham and Swiss, but you also add turkey. And it's like stacked. It's like double or triple stacked. And then after it's made, it's put into an egg batter. Kind of like, kind of like French toast and then fried like that. And that sounds amazing. Montreal styled smoked meat. This one also looks just kind of insane. Montreal styled smoked meat or Montreal smoked meat or simply smoked meat in Quebec is a type of kosher style deli meat product made by salting and curing beef brisket with spices. The brisket is allowed to absorb the flavors over a week then hot smoke to cook through and it's finally steamed to completion then served on light rye bread with some mustard. The muffaletta. This is another Italian one. So I could shout out to John for that. The traditional style muffaletta sandwich consists of a muffaletta loaf, split horizontally and covered with layers of marinated muffaletta style olive salad, salami, ham, Swiss cheese, provolone, and mortadella. Patty melt. This is another classic. Patty melt is a sandwich consisting of a ground beef patty, it's just a burger, with melted cheese, typically Swiss cheese and topped with caramelized onions between two slices of griddled bread, traditionally rye or marbled rye, though sourdough and Texas toast are sometimes substituted in some regions, including the southern US. Apparently this, the sandwich is served as early as the 1940s. I mean, it makes sense. It's such a, it's such a sandwich. It's just a san- dude, it's a sandwich. You know what I mean? Like, the, you know what I mean? Pepper and egg. That's it. It's pepper and egg on a sandwich. On a bread. There you go. Porchetta. Now porchetta is just like a cut of pork. And from what I can find, it seems to be served on like, you know, like a nice roll with salsa verde, pickle onions, and just the porchetta on some bread. That seems pretty good. The pork chop bun. It's literally just a pork chop and a bun. Or it's called a piggy bun it's like a it's like a tiny little bun that's like crispy that's it it's just that with a pork chop in it pork roll sandwich this is also an easy one it's just a pork roll which is basically like spam or taylor ham put on an english muffin with an egg on top and some cheese so it's kind of just like a, a bacon egg and cheese but instead of bacon it's spam primante it's a sandwich that consists of two slices of italian bread Grilled meat of choice, we any meat apparently. Melted provolone, vinegar based coleslaw, sliced tomatoes, and of course, french fries. It looks like this one comes from Pennsylvania. That's kind of cool, I guess. Pulled pork. It's just pulled pork on a bun. There you go. Salt beef bagel. This is also an easy one. Salt beef is just corned beef, and you put it on a bagel. And I guess other stuff on it if you want. But that's it. It's just corned beef and a bagel. Slider. Slider is just a small burger 
like a really small burger kind of like it's, it's like a white castle burger there you go it's like a white castle sprinkles i think this one is also just fairy bread which is a piece of bread it's icing on it you put sprinkles on it and that's kind of it it's like it's like cake but if like you're on like a really 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 tight budget but i think it would also go incredibly crazy to eat especially if you like fry that bread up dude hell yeah steak you'll never guess tea sandwich there are so many variations of this sandwich because it's just supposed to be like a tiny 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 little sandwich meant to be eaten like at tea time Traditional tea sandwich filling is usually cucumber with cream cheese or butter, smoked salmon or cream cheese, roast beef with horseradish or mustard, egg salad, shrimp with mayonnaise, ham and mustard, or just cheese. Vegemite. This is literally the exact same as the Marmite one. So let's replay that part, I guess. Wrap. Thank you for joining me on this layer of the iceberg for sandwiches. Now moving back on to our main host, Jonathan Squartonathan. Take it away, Johnny. Layer four. Bagel toast. This is a sandwich commonly eaten in Israel that is composed of a pressed toasted bagel filled with vegetables and cheese and is grilled on a sandwich toaster or panini press. That sounds pretty complicated to me. A beef on wax sandwich is a sandwich found primarily in western New York State, particularly in the cold, dangerous city of Buffalo. It is made with roast beef on a couple wax roll, a roll that is topped with kosher salt and caraway seeds. I am not driving all the way to Buffalo just to eat something called beef on whack. I mean, that's just whack. Bocadillo. The bocadillo is a sandwich made with Spanish bread, usually a baguette or similar type of bread, cut lengthwise. Traditionally seen as a humble food, its low cost has allowed it to evolve over time into an iconic piece of cuisine. In Spain, they are often eaten in cafes and tapas bars. I am not driving across the ocean just to eat a sandwich. Bosna. Bosna is a spicy Austrian fast food dish said to have originated in Salzburg. It is believed to have been invented in 1949 by a man named Herrherrherrherr. Her, her. It is now popular all over Western Austria and Southern Bavaria. This is just another hot dog. You're not fooling anyone with that disguise, you dumb bastard. Carroza. A carroza is a type of fried cheese sandwich or pastry in Italian cuisine. It is prepared by coating a mozzarella cheese sandwich in egg and flour and frying it. Legend says that this is a popular dish in the Campania region of southern Italy and in areas of New York City, like New York City. Samita. The samita is a torta originally from Puebla, Mexico. The word refers to the sandwich as well as to the roll it is typically served on, a bread covered with sesame seeds. This looks pretty interesting, it kind of reminds me of a Big Mac left in the hot desert sun and sprayed with white silly string. Chickpea salad. Some dangerously insane human being woke up one day, checked the refrigerator, realized that they only had chickpea salad and bread, refused to go to the store, and decided to put that gunk onto the bread and eat it, and that's really nasty. Choripan. This is just another hot dog. You're not fooling me, bucko. Continental. A continental is an Australian sandwich influenced by Italian cuisine. The sammy consists of a crusty and chewy bread roll filled with cheese, Italian cold cuts, and a variety of condiments. Some people say that this sandwich is pretty good, but I don't know who those people are, therefore I don't believe them. Croque Madame. A croque madame is a hot sandwich made with ham and cheese and I guess a fried egg on top because why not? I mean, whatever makes the French happy, right? Cutlet sandwich. I'm pretty sure that this is referring to a chicken cutlet sandwich, which is a sandwich filled with chicken cutlet. If you don't know what a chicken cutlet is, then good, because they're kind of gross. Dynamite. This is literally a sloppy joe inside of a hot dog roll. I, I swear to jaw, this is just unethical. Falafel. So falafel is a deep fried ball or patty shaped fritter of Arab origin. It's made mostly with broad beans or ground chickpeas or both. Sometimes people get frisky and place those falafel balls into wraps or sandwiches. Good for them, I guess. Fiction. I'm not even good to look at the wiki for this. Image. I typed th this into Google Images and this image that popped up. Get out of my house. Fish finger. Fish finger is what the doctors used to do to my dad whenever he had a prostate appointment. I mean, these are, are these fish sticks on bread? Is that really, is that really it? I mean, I'd eat it. 
French dip. A French dip sandwich, also known as a beef dip, is a hot sandwich consisting of thinly sliced roast beef on a French roll or baguette. It is usually served plain, but a variation is to top with Swiss cheese, onions, and a dipped container of beef broth produced from the cooking process. Now this is bussin' bussin'. I'd take it out to dinner. Griade. So griades are medallions of various meats, conventionally beef, but veal and pork are also used in modern recipes. It's often served with gravy at breakfast or brunch over grits. And I guess some guy woke up with a hangover one day, didn't want to go out, had griade and bread in their house, made a sandwich out of it, and ate it. I, uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to say this. I think it translates to, like, shrimp paste chicken, which sounds really grotesque to me. It's a Singaporean fried chicken dish consisting of fried chicken wings in a batter with fermented shrimp paste. And, and that's really gross. And I guess McDonald's Singapore sells this. I'm, I'm going to pass. You know, nothing against Singapore. Beautiful country. Nice people. Never been there. But uh, the word paste really scares me. Indian taco. These are just tacos. Don't eat them with me. Jean Bon Beurre. This is a French ham sandwich made of a fresh baguette sliced open, spread with salty butter, and filled with slices of ham. I, I don't know why, but I don't like this image. Juicy Lucy. The Juicy Lucy was this nickname we gave to this girl back when I was in high school. It's also the name of a stuffed cheeseburger with the cheese inside of the meat instead of on the top, resulting in a melted core of cheese. And, uh, well, I'm not gonna lie, I'd eat it. Yeah, that's about it. I I'd eat it. I'd put it in my mouth. What do you want from me? Kokoretsi, or however you say this. I tried to look it up on the internet, and I swear to God, all that comes up when you look up this word on how to pronounce it is like AI auto-generated pronunciations that just do not sound correct in the slightest. So this is a dish of the Balkans and Anatolia consisting of lamb or goat intestines wrapped around seasoned offal, including sweetbreads, hearts, lungs, or kidneys, and typically grilled. Jeez, why don't you just take an entire bite out of the goat or lamb? The Barquesa. Uh, I'm confused. Is is this bread or ham? D do I use this as bread for the sandwich or is this the stuff I put in between the bread or or do I use this for the bread and also the meat? I am Confucian. Lettuce. This is pretty similar to the BLT except this Sammy doesn't include bacon, tomato, or mayo. It's just lettuce. And this might also just be a reference to how people use lettuce as a substitute for bread. Either way, lettuce. Lobster roll. So imagine cooking a lobster, ripping its meat out, putting it on a roll, and eating it. That's essentially a lobster roll, and they are fire, baby. Additionally, you could garnish the sandwich with pieces of the lobster shell, but be very careful because the shell might be sharp. Additionally, again, you could eat the entire lobster, including the shell. I'm not a cop. I can't stop you. Really, you could just about do whatever you want with a lobster. Martino. Geraldo Daniel Tata Martino is an Argentine professional football manager and former player. Martino played mostly for, for New Wells Old Boys in his native Rosario. He holds the record of appearances with the team, playing a total of 505 matches in all official competitions. Media Noche. Cuban sandwich made with egg bread, roast pork, ham, mustard, Swiss cheese, and sweet pickles. I've never been to Cuba. I don't know if I'm even allowed to visit. Probably not. But I wouldn't mind swimming across the ocean to try this. Mitraillette. You like fries? Do you like carbs? Do you like cheese? Well, sit the hell down, shut up, stand up, go to Belgium, and buy this sandwich and put it inside of your mouth. Montadito. A montadito is a unique tapa-sized roll of bread similar to a baguette, but wider and with a twist. Each montadito is filled with the best ingredients available. Too bad we can't tell you exactly which ones because it's a secret. Wait, what, what do you mean you can't tell me? Are you kidding me? Hey, great. Now I have to make something up. <sighs> Meat, cheese, tomato, some other crap. Oh, the wiki's really let me down here. Pastrami on rye. Pastrami on rye bread. Pimeo bacon. This type of bacon is a wet cured unsmoked black bacon made from trimmed lean boneless pork loin rolled in cornmeal. Put it on bread and eat it. Po boy. A po' boy is a sandwich originally from Louisiana. It almost always consists of meat, which is usually roast beef or some sort of fried seafood, such as shrimp, crawfish, fish, oysters, or crab. I'd eat it. Polish boy. Oh look, another hot dog. Get out of here. Pouring light in.
Corey Lightning is a sandwich. It's free food dish and famous cuisine made from white bread and a thick slice of sausage. Normally jagged worst. Additionally, a grant may include diced sweet onion, chopped pickled cucumber, ketchup, mustard, and in some cases, mayonnaise of fried egg. I'm starting to become very overwhelmed by the amount of sandwiches on this. List. Pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin on bread. Prawn roll. Think lobster roll, but with shrimp and some other stuff and no lobster and also Australia. Prosperity. I, I tell you what this looks like, but YouTube would tear this video a new crevice. Sailor. A sailor sandwich is a hot meat and cheese sandwich popular at Jewish delis in Richmond, Virginia area restaurants. Its core ingredients are hot pastrami, grilled knackwurst, melted Swiss cheese, and hot mustard on rye bread. This just sounds like a pastrami sandwich but with extra steps, and I'm not gonna sit here and take this disrespect. Schmitter. Apparently this is a steak sandwich but not a cheese steak, and uh, I, I don't buy it. That's like saying an avocado BLT isn't a BLT. It still is, you're just adding a bunch of extra crap to it. Shwarma. Remember the Ottoman Empire? Haha, <laughs> neither do I. Mainly because I wasn't alive when it was in full swing. But this sandwich originated in that empire. It's a popular Middle Eastern dish consisting of meat cut into thin slices, stacked in an inverted cone, and roasted on a slowly turning vertical rotisserie or split. Traditionally made with lamb or mutton, it may also be made with chicken, turkey, beef, or veal. Let me just make this really easy for you guys. Do you know these TikTok videos of dudes cutting meat off of this metal pole? That's basically what this is. Shooter Sandwich This is another steak sandwich but with extra steps. It's a steak sandwich placed inside a hollowed out loaf of bread and then weighted down. D dude, just go get a steak sandwich, it's not that hard. St. Paul's the St. Paul sandwich can be found in many Chinese American restaurants in Missouri. It's made with white bread, egg foo young patty, pickle slices, white onion, mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomatoes. The photo Wikipedia chose to use to represent the sandwich just looks really depressing to me. God, look at that thing. Steak bomb. This is just another steak sandwich, but with added steps. Go get a cheesesteak. Steak burger. Oh my god, this is either a cheesesteak burger or a burger with cheesesteak. Either way. For the love of God, cheesesteak. Tavern. A tavern sandwich is a sandwich consisting of ground beef on a bun, mixed with sautéed onions, and sometimes topped with pickles, ketchup, mustard, and cheese. Unlike a hamburger, a tavern's meat is cooked loose rather than formed into a compact patty, so what you're trying to tell me is that it's a sloppy joe, but instead of joe, it's a burger. I, I think. I, I don't know. Tremazino. The Tremazino is a usually triangular Italian sandwich constructed from two slices of soft white bread, with the crusts removed. Popular fillings include tuna, olive, and prosciutto, but many other fillings can be used. If you hate crust, then you'll love the Tremazino. If you like crust, then congrats on being a normal person. Turkey Devonshire. I can't find a wiki article for the sandwich, um, but it, it looks like bacon and eggs. I'm gonna say that this is a bacon and eggs sandwich or something. I, I don't really know. Anyways, that, my friends, was the fourth layer of the iceberg. Layer five! Balu. Balu is a popular Brazilian sandwich. The traditional recipe calls for cheese melted in a bain-marie, slices of roast beef, tomato, and pickled cucumber in a French bun with the crumb removed. The Balu has a fairly well-documented history, but we're not going to talk about that because it's Friday and it's currently 4.39 p.m. and I really need to get this joke of a video done, so let's just move it along. Beirut. A Beirut is a Brazilian sandwich influenced by Syrian Lebanese cuisine made with pita bread brought to Brazil in the early 20th century by Levantine immigrants. The Beirut sandwich uses two whole pieces of bread, not inside the pocket of a single piece of bread. Wow, there are a lot of sandwiches from Brazil. Don't, don't y'all got any other food there? Bologna salad sandwich. Imagine putting an entire pig into a blender and spreading the paste on a sandwich. That's basically a bologna salad sandwich. Word that starts with a B, croquette. It's a deep fried croquette on a roll. Looks like a turd. Bun kebab. Bun kebab is a sandwich native to Pakistan, but now available all over the Indian subcontinent. Bun kebabs are a signature in Pakistani metro cities like this city and this one as well, but they could also be found all over Pakistan. Got enough onions there, buddy? Buddy friend? Pal? Butterbrot. 
The German word Butterbrot describes a slice of bread topped with butter. It is still considered Butterbrot even if additional toppings such as cheese, spreads, or lunch meats are added, as long as it consists of a slice of bread with butter. This looks like the most miserable piece of bread I have ever seen in my entire life. Caviar. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? Yeah, neither have I. Chacarero. Chacarero is a Chilean sandwich made with thinly sliced Chiracasa style steak or Lomito style pork on a round roll with tomatoes, green beans, and chili pepper. Oh my god, that, that actually looks pretty good. I'll take two, please. Chimichurris. Chimichurri is an uncooked sauce used both as an ingredient in cooking and as a table condiment for grilled meat. Found originally in Argentinian, Uruguayan, Paraguayan, and occasionally Chilean cuisine, the sauce is now ubiquitous in much of South America. The sauce comes in a green and red version, and people put it on bread and eat it because why not? Churrasco. Churrasco is the Portuguese and Spanish name for beef or grilled meat more generally. It is a prominent feature in the cuisine of Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina, and people put it on sandwiches and eat it because why not? Cuban. A Cuban sandwich is a variation of a ham and cheese sandwich that likely originated in cafes catering to Cuban workers in Tampa or Key West. Two early Cuban immigrants in Florida centered on the cigar industry. Later on, brought it to Miami, where it's also very popular. It's made using Cuban bread, ham, Swiss, pickled cucumber, mustard, effort, love, death, death time, and effort. Donkey. You know, I'm not an animal activist or a political guy or anything, but the sandwich is from China and it sounds completely horrendous. So, uh, I don't know. Get smarter, China! Donut. A donut sandwich involves taking two donuts and slapping some garbage in between. Bacon, eggs, steak, burger, used towel, Walmart floor tile, anything you want. Elvis. All jokes aside, I love this sandwich. It's a sandwich that contains peanut butter, banana, bacon, and it's really good. Like, it, it, it's so good, it should be illegal. Thanks for inventing it, Austin Butler. Fool's Gold Loaf. Fool's Gold Loaf is a sandwich made by the Colorado Mine Company, a restaurant in Denver, Colorado. It consists of a single warmed hollowed out loaf of bread filled with the contents of one jar of creamy peanut butter, one jar of grape jelly, and a whole pound of bacon. This looks incredible, like I want to shove my entire fried brain. A fried brain sandwich is a sandwich of sliced calves brain on a sliced but Jesus, this sounds so grotesque, I think I might vomit. Gerber. This sandwich comes from Missouri. It's open-faced and it's made with Italian or French bread, garlic butter, ham, provolone, cheese, and paprika. I I'll tell you what, this looks like, um, 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 it, it, um, um, it looks like something. Grilled cottage cheese. Cottage cheese on bread and grilled, and it sounds like doo-doo feces. Guabao. A guabao, also known as a pork belly bun, is a type of lotus beef bun originating from Fujian cuisine. It is a popular snack in Taiwan and is commonly sold at night markets and restaurants. Yeah, I'd eat it. Hot chicken. It's like a chicken sandwich except someone seasoned that bastard with tons of hot spices and sauces. Hot turkey. Nobody likes turkey. Hot brown. Hot brown is what I make when I come over to your house after indulging in some greasy street food. Kaiser, whatever that word is. A Kaiser, whatever that word is, is a finger sandwich from Austrian cuisine made with ham, pickles, egg, and cheese. Hee 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 finger hee hee hee. Cotton butter. Cotton butter is a sandwich consisting of buttered brown bread, or uh, whatever that is, smoked pork sausage, onion rings, and a spread of spicy mustard. Other variants supplement pork with horse meat. No! No! D don't do that! D no! Also, this looks like a very miserable piece of bread. What's with the miserable pieces of bread? Limburg. Limburg is a cheese that originated in the Herve area of the historical Duchy of Limburg, which had its capital in limburg sur vestre now in the French-speaking Belgium province of I, I don't even know, and I probably butchered some of the other words as well. The cheese is especially known for its strong smell caused by the bacterium. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to sound it out. Brevibacterium, okay, linens, all right, and people put this on bread and eat it. Lox. Lox is a fillet of brined salmon which may be smoked. 
Lox is frequently served on a bagel with cream cheese and often garnished with tomato, sliced onion, cucumbers, and capers, and wow, I'd eat the hell out of this. You know, I, I personally, all jokes aside, okay, I love sushi, and this sandwich is just calling my name. Met Brochen. Met, also known as Hacky Peter, I don't know if that's how you say that, but whatever, is a preparation of minced raw pork seasoned with salt and black pepper that is popular in Germany and Poland. It is frequently spread on halves of bread roll with raw onion optionally on top. This is just pork paste slathered on bread. C can you even eat this? I, I sure as hell don't trust raw pork. Oh, oh wait, I, I just looked it up. Okay, so apparently if you get the pork from a professional butcher and it's fresh, then there shouldn't be a big risk of getting, getting sick. Ugh. I'm gonna pass on the paste. Moulet. Okay, I'm like half asleep editing this, but I screwed up this entry and I have to redo it. This is a type of bread in Spanish cuisine or an open-faced sandwich with beans and cheese in Mexican cuisine. Eat it, lick it, taste it, smell it, do stuff to it, I don't know. Mother-in-law. This is a fast food dish consisting of a tamale topped with chili, served in a hot dog bun, making this a sussy sandwich imposter. Get out of here. Naan. Naan is a leavened oven baked or tawa fried flatbread which is found in the cuisines mainly of Western Asia, Central Asia, Indian subcontinent, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, and the Caribbean. And I guess people put stuff on it and eat it. Pimbazo. Pambazo is a Mexican dish for antojito made with pambaza bread dipped and fried in a red gajillo pepper sauce. It is traditionally filled with papas con chorizo or with papas only, but there are different variants. And damn, this sandwich looks angry. Pon Banya. This is a sandwich that is a specialty of Nice, France. The sandwich is composed of uh, whatever that is, a whole wheat bread enclosing the classic sal whatever that is. A salad composed mainly of raw vegetables, hard-boiled eggs, anchovies, and or tuna, and olive oil, salt, and pepper. Wow, I have just been narrating sandwiches all day, and I think I'm about to have a f***ing stroke. Pepete. A pepete is an Argentine and Uruguayan soft oval bun made of wheat flour with a thin brown crust. Rather like a fatter hot dog roll. Wait a minute. Hot dog? Fat? The? Pepito. The pepito is a sandwich prepared with beef, pork, or chicken originating from Spain and also very popular in Latin America. It is a common street food in Venezuela and is also available at some United States restaurants. Just an FYI, if there's pork in there, it's a hot dog. Pimento. Jesus, it, this just looks like straight cat food paste. Pistolet. A pistolet is either of two bread-based dishes in Louisiana cuisine. One is a fried bread roll that could also be stuffed in the Cajun areas around Lafayette and Lake Charles. The other is a type of submarine-shaped bread, about half the size of a baguette, that is popular in New Orleans for Vietnamese, banh mi, and other sandwiches. I'm learning so many pronunciations today, it's incredible. Escovica. Escovica is a Serbian grilled dish consisting of a spiced meat patty mixture of pork, beef, and lamb. It is one of the national dishes of Serbia and is very popular in the neighboring Balkan and former Yugoslavian countries of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, and Montenegro. Is that cat food on that burger? Prego. Prego means a lot of things. It means you're welcome in Italian. It's also slang for pregnant. But the prego we're talking about today is the sandwich. Traditionally, the prego was a steak between two slices of bread and could include ham and fried egg inside as well, accompanied by french fries. My sandwich is pregnant. Pudgy pie. A pudgy pie is what Amber Heard left on Johnny Depp's bed. Rachel. The Rachel sandwich is one of several variations on the famous Reuben. Instead of the classic corned beef and sauerkraut, the Rachel is usually made with turkey or pastrami and coleslaw. Rachel sounds like a nice lady. I, I mean sandwich. Reuben. The Reuben sandwich is a North American grilled sandwich composed of corned beef, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, and Thousand Island dressing, or Russian dressing, grilled between slices of rye bread. It is associated with kosher-style delicatessens, but is not kosher because it combines meat and cheese. Everyone knows what a Reuben is. Put it in your mouth and eat it. 
Roti Bakar. Roti Bakar refers to toast, usually prepared with grilled white bread in both the Indonesian and Malay languages. The dish is a popular breakfast food as well as tea time snack in countries like Brunei, Indonesia, and Malaysia. It looks like if I took a pack of crayons and melted them on top of some bread. Runza. A runza is a yeast dough bread pocket with a filling consisting of beef, cabbage or sauerkraut, onions, and seasonings. Runzas can be baked into various shapes, such as a half moon, a rectangle, a round, a square, or a triangle. This is just a hot pocket, and I'm not gonna lie, I would totally stick my sabik. Sabik is a sandwich of pita or lava bread stuffed with fried eggplants, hard-boiled eggs, chopped salad, parsley, amba, and tahini sauce. It is an Iraqi Jewish dish that has become a staple of Israeli cuisine as a result of Iraqi Jewish immigration to Israel. That looks like something else to me. Sandwich Loaf Vikings used to call this sandwich the school bus of sandwiches, and that's because the sandwich loaf is a sandwich made using an entire loaf of bread. Why? Sausage, pepper, and onion sub. This is a sausage, pepper, and onion sandwich. Sealed crustless. These are just uncrustables. You know, the queen of frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, at least according to Forbes, who have never made that claim ever. S'mored bread. This is an open-faced sandwich built on a thin layer of dense sourdough rye bread called rug broad. It's a slice of bread with stuff on top of it. Spaghetti. Splatlo. This is a South African street food that is made from a hollowed out quarter loaf of bread and filled with a variety of ingredients, often potato chips, sausage, egg, beef, patty, cheese, poloni, and atcher. And I would be lying to you guys if I told you that I knew exactly what was happening in this photo. I mean, what the hell is happening here? This looks like a combination of a deep dish pizza with an English muffin on top of it. Speedy. The Speedy is a snack consisting of marinated meat cut into cubes, grilled and placed in a long bread roll. Local to Binghamton, in the central southern tier of the mystical New York State, also known as New York, and somewhat more broadly known and enjoyed throughout central New York, also known as the center of New York, or just New York. Sandwiches de amiga, sandwiches de amiga, they're a popular food item in Argentina and Uruguay, where they're often consumed at parties. Rather than making them from scratch, Argentines usually buy them at a local bakery. They can be toasted or untoasted. The ingredients for these sandwiches consist of white bread, ham, eggs, cheese, tomatoes, green peppers, and lettuce. I guess you could say that this sandwich is the BLT of Argentina and Uruguay. Except there isn't any bacon on these sandwiches, just tomato, lettuce, and the other ingredients I just listed. Yeah. Sandwiches de Milanesa. The Milanesa is a sandwich, is a type of sandwich eaten in Argentina and Uruguay. The bread is usually a white pot and a short baguette type cut in half and filled with a large schnitzel. Milanesa being the name, schnitzel have no region plus sliced tomatoes and lettuce. I'm gonna pass out. Toast. A toast sandwich is a sandwich in which the filling between two slices of bread is itself a thin slice of toasted bread, which may be buttered. An 1861 recipe says to add salt and pepper to taste. This is the dumbest sandwich I have ever seen in my entire life. Just go eat a loaf of bread. Tofu. Tofu is a food prepared by coagulating soy milk and then pressing the resulting curds into solid white blocks of varying softness, silken soft, firm, extra firm, or super firm. Tofu is also known as bean curd in English. Beyond these broad textural categories, there are many varieties of tofu, and people put it on sandwiches and it's pretty nasty. Tongue toast. This is an open sandwich made with sautéed beef tongue and scrambled eggs, and honestly I could just do without the eggs, give me the tongue. Torta. A torta is a Mexican sandwich served on a soft roll and filled with meat, sauce, and various toppings such as crema, avocado, salsa, and iceberg lettuce. Hehehe, <laughs> iceberg. Hehehe, <laughs> Lois, iceberg. Wurstbrot. A wurstbrot is a slice of bread spread with slices of lunch meat or sausage. Additionally, the bread may be buttered to taste. It is a very simple and typical German type of sandwich, generally homemade, eaten cold, and popular as a snack, packed lunch, as well as for breakfast or supper. There is nothing special about this sandwich. And that, my friends, was the fifth layer of the iceberg. Layer 6! Boris Luko. 
Bars Luco is a hot sandwich in Chile that includes beef and melted cheese and one of several types of bread. The sandwich is named after Chilean president Ramon Barros Luco, who served as the president of Chile from 1910 to 1915. This just sounds like a cheesesteak from South America. Barros Harpa Barros Harpa is a popular sandwich in Chilean cuisine that includes ham and melted cheese. It is named after the 19th century Chilean minister Ernesto Barros Harpa and it was coined in the restaurant of the National Congress of Chile, where Barros always asked for this sandwich. This just sounds like a ham and cheese sandwich from South America. British Rail These are sandwiches that were sold for consumption on passenger trains of the former British Rail during the period of nationalization from 1948 to 1994. Comedic references to the sandwiches established it as an emblematic of the unappetizing fare then available aboard Great Britain's railway service. The name doesn't sound like a sandwich to me, to be honest, it Sounds like a power move in a British bedroom. Butifara. A butifara is a Peruvian sandwich which is filled with slices of savory jamande pais, Peruvian country-style seasoned ham, and a wonderful street onion relish called salsa, I don't know how to say that word. Traditionally, it is served on rosetta bread, a round roll with a flour-like appearance, but French bread rolls are also common. This honestly sounds like a pretty good sandwich and I would like to put it in my mouth right now. Bon me. In Vietnamese cuisine, this is a short baguette with thin, crisp crust and a soft, airy texture. It is often split lengthwise and filled with savory ingredients like a submarine sandwich and served as a meal. This is definitely a sandwich that I would like to put inside of my mouth, preferably right now because I'm very hungry. Chavito. Chavito is a national dish of Uruguay. It is a sandwich of sliced beef steak, mozzarella, ham, tomatoes, mayonnaise, and black or green olives. A chavito commonly also includes bacon and fried or hard-boiled eggs. It is served in a bun, often accompanied by French fried potatoes. So, this sounds very similar to a BLT, except it has a bunch of extra stuff on it, which is cool if you're a fan of adding a bunch of extra nonsense to your BLT, but personally, I like to keep my BLT simple. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, bread, sometimes avocado. Chutney Sandwich a chutney is a spread typically associated with cuisines of the Indian subcontinent. Chutneys are made in a wide variety of forms, such as tomato, relish, a ground peanut butter garnish, yogurt or curd, cucumber, spicy coconut, spicy onion, or mint dipping sauce. And sometimes people like to put it on bread and eat it, which is uh, very cool. Kudagi Kudagi is an Italian-American dish consisting of a spicy Italian sausage seasoned with sweet spices that can be bought in links or served as a sandwich on a long, hard roll, often with mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce. It is primarily found in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan in the Midwestern United States. Fun fact, but Michigan isn't real. Doubles Doubles is a common street food originating in Trinidad and Tobago of Indian origin. It is normally eaten during breakfast, but is also eaten occasionally during lunch or as a late night snack and popular hangover food for local Trinidadians. I'm not gonna lie, this sandwich looks like a diaper filled with, uh, as Michael Jackson once said, doo doo feces. Dirty's not my Dirty's not my is the Danish name for a small broad, also known as an open face sandwich made with a particular selection of topics. The name of the snack originated in the 1920s, and Oscar Davidson sandwich brand restaurant in Copenhagen. Well, this looks like a pain in the ass. Sorry. I'll be young. This just looks like a normal sandwich, like I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, I think, it, it, is this from Brazil? What's happening? Brandy Samba, it's a Portuguese sandwich originally from Bordeaux, made with bread, wet cured ham, Lingua, fresh sausage, lime to ball, steak, roast meat, and garlic, melted cheese, and hot thick spice tomato, and bear sauce. It is typically served with french fries. Anyone else's parents say Chipotle like Chipotle? Like, it's such a weird old person thing to do. Tyra. Tires are wing-shaped, 11 Maltese bread, usually eaten with fillings such as sardines, tuna, potato, fresh tomato, onion, capers, and olives. Yummy. Glasgow Oyster. This wacky, vile-looking sandwich consists of a double beef burger, melted mature cheddar, you know, not that adolescent cheddar crap, get that garbage out of here, a scotch pie, and beef-dripping gravy. Guajalota. 
Guajolote, I, I hope I'm saying this right, by the way, all right? This is a form of street food commonly found in Mexico City and within the state of Mexico, which is also a country that also goes by Mexico or the United Mexican States. It is essentially a sandwich composed of a tamal placed inside a bolillo. Good deal. This is just a fancy name for a lobster roll. Go eat a lobster roll right now. I want to watch you eat it. Gyro or gyro. A gyro or gyro, depending on how you want to pronounce it, is a Greek sandwich made with lamb and beef, tomato, onion, and yogurt sauce on pita bread. We've all eaten these before, especially if you live in Greece, as it's a tradition to eat at least one gyro every single morning. Ham and egg bun. Ham and egg bun is a type of Hong Kong pastry. It is a bun or bread that contains a sheet of egg and ham, and it looks so cute and adorable, I want to pet it. Ham dog. No, no, I refuse. I refuse. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I, I better not catch any of you people eating this. Th this goes completely against the sandwich Bible. This is fucking blasphemous. Kabuli burger. An Afghani burger is an Afghan fast food wrap consisting of a piece of Afghan bread rolled around french fries along with chutney and other condiments, vegetables, and often sausages or other meats. It borrows influences from Afghan cuisine and was popularized inside Pakistan by Afghan immigrants. God, I am so hungry right now. Like, I've been typing up sandwich entries for hours now. Kinopka. Oh, great. Another open sandwich. Oh, wow. 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 These are beautiful. Beautiful design. Love them. I would eat them. Katsu Sando. This is a Japanese sandwich filled with crispy, juicy, and tasty meat cutlets topped with signature tonkatsu sauce, and it's bussin', baby. Koji Pate. Koji Pate is a Lao baguette based sandwich similar to Vietnam's Bai Me, which I still don't know if I'm even saying that right either. It is a famous street food found throughout Laos. It contains sai gok, pork, ham, papaya, carrots, scallions, or shallots, mint, cilantro, paite, this, and served on a baguette. You ever just wonder what the nature of consciousness is and how it relates to the physical world? Luther Burger. A Luther Burger, or Donut Burger, is a hamburger or cheeseburger with one or more glazed donuts in place of the bun. These burgers have a disputed origin and tend to run between approximately 800 and 1500 calories. So if you're looking to speed run life, eat about 10 of these at once. Don't do that, by the way. Mezcla. So mezcla is a cheese spread made up of canned ham, cheese dip, and other flavorings. And people spread it on bread and eat it because that's how people survive. Oblozhenai kiblechki. I, uh, I, I think these are Czech open sandwiches. Just call it an open sandwich. Queen Alexandria's Sandwich. Alexandria of Denmark was Queen of the United Kingdom and the British Dominions and Empress of India from January 22nd, 1901 to May 6th, 1910, when her people decided to turn her into a literal sandwich. Rojamwa. Rojamwa is a street food originating from the cuisine of this province and widely consumed all over China. In the United States, it is sometimes called a Chinese hamburger and is made with pork and flatbread made with yeast. These are just tacos. Get the hell out of here. I've just about McFing had it with looking up pronunciations for half of these items, so I'm just gonna put them on screen and you can try and sound them out for yourselves. This is a Finnish open rye bread sandwich, but maybe. I, I mean, this word translates to rye bread, so I don't really know. Don't even get me started on this. What the hell is this? Salad cake? Get out of here. This grouping of words is a Danish dish, an open sandwich with rug broad, smoked herring, chives, and a raw egg yolk on top. Toast Hawaii. All right, here we go. Here's a good one. Toast Hawaii or Hawaiian toast is an open sandwich consisting of a slice of toast with ham and cheese and a maraschino cherry in the middle of a pineapple slice broiled so that the cheese starts to melt. Okay, that's about it. Look, pineapple on pizza is one war crime, but if I catch you putting pineapple on your sandwiches, so help me Ja, I'm gonna come to your house and tell your parents about the box you keep under your bed. This thing that's on screen, it's from Mexico, it contains dried chili peppers, fried pork, chicken, or beans. The sandwich has also been dubbed the soup of sandwiches by scientists. I, I'm about to quit. This is a sandwich that's served in Bolivia, and it looks like a very confused sandwich. This- are you kidding? This is just a goddamn burrito! 
This thing on screen is a vegetarian fast food dish native to the Indian state of this word on screen. The dish consists of a deep fried potato dumpling placed inside a bread bun almost in half through the middle. It is generally accompanied with one or more chutneys and a green chili pepper. I don't really have anything stupid or funny to say about this one. Yakisoba! Yakisoba is a Japanese noodle stir-fried dish and some people eat on sandwiches! Not me though, I prefer to eat my yakisoba the yaki way, whatever the hell that means! This is a toasted open face sandwich made of sliced baguette! with sauteed white mushroom cheese, sometimes other ingredients such as ham, served with hot ketchup. It has been a popular street food in Poland since the 1970s. Well, it can't be that popular if I've never heard of it. This is just onions and I'm done. I'm not doing this ever again. There was the entire iceberg! Now get out of my house! Well guys, that about wraps up this disgusting video. For those of you who made it to the end, congratulations, you get a cookie. If I didn't make it obvious enough in this video, a lot of these entries were a mixture of real and fake facts, so don't take this video as the definitive sandwich guide or anything like that, because it's not. This was just a dumb April Fool's video idea I've had for over a year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and appreciated the amount of effort I put into this dumpster fire of a project. Special thanks to Q and Sersha for partaking in this giant dumpster fire. All of their social links will be in the bio below. If you want to check out mine and Sersha's band Water on Red, links will be in the bio below as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then do me a favor and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Follow me on all of my social links and join my zesty flaming hot Discord server. Links in the bio below. Have a fantastic day everyone, and remember that April Fools is a lie.